Hi everybody! It's September 1st and that means that the new Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog is live! I like to kick off each catalog with a My Favorites Thing a list, kind of like Oprah, and uh, so here we are. I'm going to tell you all of my favorite things in here. I truly love everything in here, but this is probably um, the list of my top 30 things that I like is really hard to narrow it down. So I'm gonna uh, give you a walk through. If you have your catalog, grab it. If you don't have a catalog yet, let me know. I'll be happy to send you one. Just shoot me a message or comment here and um, I'll get your address and send you one. All right, so the first thing I wanna point out is that when you open this catalog, there are two hostess sets. These are um, sets that you can only get if you host a workshop or place a minimum $150 order. Uh, this is one of the things that uh, demonstrators could not pre-order. As a demonstrator, we get to order a month early, but these were on the, sorry guys, can't order this list. So I don't even have these yet, but I'm going to be giving away one of these tonight in my online workshop on Facebook. So make sure that you um, check that out so you can get one of these for free. They're both really good. I don't know how I'm going to decide which one to give away because they're both great. So if you turn the page to page five, this whole Christmas suite I love. I'm a traditional colors kind of girl. I like red for Christmas and I really like that dark brown with it. So I wanted to point that out to you. The Candy Cane Lane Designer Series Paper. I have it right here and I just have to show you. it. The pictures guys just do, don't do it justice. You know that. So we've got browns and reds and whites and it's like um, crumb cake too. These are really cute. You can even punch those out and use them on your projects. Oh, I'm just so cute, just gingerbread man Christmas. I really like that dark brown, it makes those images pop. And then on the other side, you know, they're all two-sided. So in one pack of paper, you get two of each of these. Look, it's like icing. If you love all the paper and embellishments but can't afford to get all of them, I am gonna be doing product shares. So I will be posting details on that uh, later today. That's a, a great way to get a little bit of everything, of all the consumables. All right, so um, coordinating with that paper, um, oh, something I wanted to point out, Stampin' Up! did away with their 12 by 12 paper a while ago, but in this catalog, they've brought some of it back. So 12 by 12, real red, that can make big boxes, that can make um, scrapbook pages, so check that out. Um, if you turn the page, there's the cookie cutter Christmas set. I'm sure that you have seen this around online. It is extremely popular. It's precious. I have played with it and played with it and played with it and it comes with a coordinating punch. And there's also a Halloween set that goes with this punch. So if you invest in the bundle, then um, you also can get the Halloween set and you already have the punch for it. So I was gonna show you a couple of things that I've made that uses that candy cane lane paper and those little, um, those little critters from the cookie cutter Christmas set. Look how precious. And the little bear. And these are photopolymers, so it makes it easy to line them up. And the gingerbread man, I just love that card. Super easy, but really bold. And of course, Santa. Can't have one, a Chris, can't have Christmas cards without Santa. And then here's one. This doesn't have the candy cane DSP. It has the um, Christmas paper from the main catalog. But look at the reindeer. If you just um, stamp him on craft, he's really, really cute. All right, so uh, that's the cookie cutter and the candy cane lane sweet bundle. I think that was probably on the top of all of our lists. Uh, the dem demonstrators list when we got to order. All right, so turn, I mean, guys, I seriously love everything in here, but I'm just gonna show you what I love the most. On page 11, there's a new framelit here, or thinlet, I guess you would call it, really intricate. It's gorgeous. I don't have it, but luckily, I was in um, Michigan this last weekend, and they had it, and we got to make it, and it's gorgeous. And if you have that, um, detailed, I can't remember what it's called, uh, the, the plate that goes on your Big Shot, it makes this come out easy peasy. So this is beautiful, and um, I've seen some great shaker cards online that use that as well. So that's called the Detailed Santa Thinlet Dies, and it's on page 11. All right, turn the page 
page tw uh, 12 and 13. This is probably my second favorite Christmas thing in there. This paper, and I'm not going to spend a lot of time showing you this paper because tonight in my online workshop, we're going to make a project with this, and I'm going to talk some more about this. But I, again, I love the bold, red, green. Um, there's a little bit of yellow in here, too. It's very uh, masculine, woodsy. Also on that page, you're going to see an embossing folder, and I will tell you the first 10 times I look at this catalog, look right over it. It's an embossing folder. Okay, whatever. But then... I heard about it. It's really thick. It's much different than our other embossing folders, and it's called a dynamic embossing folder. I'm going to be using this in a project tonight, too, so make sure you tune in so that you can see what makes the dynamic embossing folder so cool. And also on that page is the craft rope trim. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's uh, pretty thick, and it would make great uh, packaging. But you can also easily untwist it and get three pieces out of it. You guys know I love my twine. So um, really cool, really cool. I like it. I have never seen anything like that before. All right, so turn the page and page 15. This is another thing that I don't have. I didn't get it on my pre-order, but I got to play with it in Michigan. And let me tell you that it will be on my first order today. Uh, it's called the... Hang Your Stocking Stamp Set and Christmas Stocking Thinlet Dies. And it's adorable. Totally adorable. This is my favorite one we made with it. That's one of the new embossing folders, too. This one is super sparkly and pretty. Isn't that beautiful? And one more. Super simple, but very, very cute. Love it. All right. So that's the stocking bundle. Turn the page to uh, the next page 16 I wanted to point out the twine there's like I don't know nine or ten bolts of new twine in this catalog and again you guys know me I love twine in that pack is some gold twine and this is very different from our gold thread um, that gold thread's super skinny and you cannot tie a bow with it I mean maybe you can but I can't this is twine and it's gold and I have used a ton I've almost used the whole bolt since I pre um, pre-ordered it so Check out the twines if you're a twine fan like me. All right, next. Oh, yes. Page 20, the pine cone. Where did I put them? The mini pine cones. You guys are so cute. Okay, teeny tiny. Let's see, where's the camera? Let's see, will it focus? Well, anyway, it's so cute. It's teeny, teeny, tiny. You can see how tiny it is. It has a little loop on it, and they are precious. So you can see you get a whole bunch of them in a little embellishment container. So add those to your list. I'll be giving those away tonight as a prize. I hope that you join me in my workshop, my online workshop on Facebook. Okay, page 24, another Christmas bundle that I did pre-order, Santa's sleigh. Uh, I really liked the boldness of these images. I guess I need to show you guys. Um, I really like it, and I've seen some incredible things already on Pinterest uh, that other demonstrators have been using. Unfortunately, I've, I've only gotten to play with it once, and I made one card with it, and I love it. I love when you could stamp on a solid card stock and cut it out. I just think that's big and bold. And there's that gold um, twine I was telling you about. So that's that, one of my favorites. You will notice, and I'm not even going to point them out because I don't have enough time to tell you about everything, but there are some jar sets. If you have the Jar of Love framelits, or the, I guess they're called the Everyday Jar Thinlets framelits, you want to get these dry sets too because then you can use your framelits with them. Um, page 29, there's another embellishment I need to tell you about, the little tiny jingle bells. They are precious, teeny, teeny, tiny, red and silver, a must have, if you ask me. Uh, let's see, okay, turn, turn, turn. Okay, kits. Tonight I'm going to do, um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our kits in this holiday catalog, but I just want to show you real quickly on page 33, you just have to see the size of this cute little tin of tags. Isn't it super cute? It's tiny. And you make all the little tags and they go right in there. What a great gift that would be, right? And I just want to keep the tin for myself. I'm going to probably use the tags and keep the tin for myself because it's so cute. And the stamp set that goes with that um, is a really good one. And yes, you'll use it on your tags, but I think that you would use that quite a bit too because they are just really good Christmas sentiments. All right, and then the next kit is called the four, 
Forever Evergreen. Actually, there's two kits on the next page. There's a card one that has stitching, hand stitching, and I don't have that and I haven't done it yet, um, but it's beautiful. Uh, but I did order the tree one because that really speaks to me. And you can see back here, let's see if you guys, I'll just take one of them up. I was pleasantly surprised by this kit. It is adorable. And if you're gonna get any kit, I think you should get this one. But that's just me, I love it. It's uh, big and all the little things that come with it are just little pieces of art, they're so cute. All right, so turn um, page 39. Look at these little framelits, how cute are they? They make tags, and again, I don't have these, but in Michigan I got to make them, look, little tags. And my wheels are already turning about how this is gonna be like a treat holder or something. So um, look for that, you're gonna want that for sure. That was on page 39. Also something that um, I didn't see at first are these giant gusseted bags. They show them holding a wine bottle. They are big enough for a wine bottle, but um, I saw them this weekend holding two of our little, the little tiny coffee cups. Uh, the little thing that I made last year that had two of them, it, would, it goes around that perfectly. So I look forward to using those. Okay, now here's the thing I wanted the very most. If I had to say one thing that I wanted the very most, it was this. This cute little house. It could be a spooky house, a gingerbread house, a regular house. It's so cute. So I got it and I have not even had time to play with it. I cut out a house to see what the size was. I wanted to show you. I haven't done anything to it, but look how tiny it is. It's so cute. And I like that it's tiny because if I'm going to fill this with candy, it's going to be expensive if it's big, but if it's tiny, it's not going to take very much candy. So um, let's see, what could I, oh, let's see, I have my Diet Coke can, so you can just see. It's tiny. It's so cute. I cannot wait to get time to play with that because I truly, that was my most favorite thing in the whole catalog. All right, there's a cute glamping set. Super cute. Um, if you don't know what glamping is, it's like when you go camping and you're like in a fancy camp or, or in like a little hotel or something. So that's why it's called Glamper Greetings. I thought that was really cute. And I have made one card with it. Um, these are the mica flakes that are also in here that I did not flag to talk to you about, but I do love that camper. And, and it's good for, I mean, all year. The sentiments are great. Home is where you park it and that's so cute. Okay, so turn the page, keep going. Okay, now there's this bundle, this paisley, and um, I'm sorry, it's called a sweet. Paisley, posies, let's see, paisleys and posies. I have played with this a lot. Um, I'm, I was really, really intrigued. Look how many framelits you get in that set. And even the stamp, the stamp set has a ton of stamps too. So I'm gonna show you some cards. The paper's beautiful, I didn't pull that out to show you, um, but it's on some of these cards. Let's see, here's one that I made. This is gonna be for uh, my simple card class in September. And here's another one that shows you the beautiful paper. And then um, this one, the, whoops, this one we, no, like that. <laughs> and this one we made in Michigan, so there's that one. And then there's this one, that's some of that paper also. And this is my favorite. And this leads me into telling telling you about the new uh, copper foil sheets. And it's on that same page, 47, gorgeous. I mean, gorgeous. And so we used it here on this card with these, um, these beautiful paisleys. So check that out. That's kind of a um, general use. Um, you could use it for fall. The paper definitely has fall colors, but it's more of a general use. All the things that I've made for it really are general and not necessarily um, Thanksgiving specific or fall specific. All right, so turn the page. I was trying to keep this under 10 minutes and it looks like we're already at 13 and a half. Sorry guys. My favorite section, the Halloween section. Guys, I love Halloween. I love it. I love pumpkins. I love candy. I love fall because the, the weather's cool. It just is my favorite time of the year. So I love to decorate and um, hand out fun treats for the kids. So I was really excited when I saw how much Halloween stuff we have in this catalog. So if you look at page 51, I'm gonna to talk to you about this paper right here. This is some of the best Halloween paper we have ever had. And I only ordered one pack, so <laughs> I don't have very much of it left. So I'm gonna to try to give you some ideas. Now this doesn't go in there, that's from the neutral stack, but it coordinates. Um, so it's traditional, like I told you, traditional 
orange and black. It does have two pages that have shiny, um, like silvery embossed images. So one is a spider web and then the other one is polka dots. And I haven't even cut into this one. It's beautiful. Um, and then there's this cool paper that has those houses on it. And the back is a brick wall. And I have some weird scraps stuck to it. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, okay, so let me show you my favorite pattern in this um, stack. I love when, I don't even know how many left. I love when paper is, um, the print is small. Oh good, I have a whole sheet. This really, really small orange. I think um, a really small print like this, um, and when it's um, monotone, you know, when it's all one color basically, I feel like that makes card making and crafting really easy. So I love that. Okay, moving on, moving on real quick. Oh, here I made a scrap of page. If you're in my stamp club, look away if you want to be surprised. Here's um, the our scrapbook page, and you can kind of get an idea for those different um, papers. We also have some pumpkin pie glimmer paper. I mean, who doesn't love glimmer paper? It's like playing with glitter without getting it all over you. More twine. I have also used a ton of this new, what's it called, spooky Halloween Night Bakers twine. Still on that same page. I know now I'm kind of bouncing around because I'm trying to hurry. Um, okay, page 53. Here's the other cookie cutter set. And I just have to show you some of the things that I've made. The Scarecrow, I think, is my favorite. He is really fun to watercolor. He matches, punches out with that same cookie cutter punch I showed you. Look at him. Love him. These are from my cookie cutter Halloween class. Um, if you want to get the class to go, I mail it to you. All the supplies you need plus your own stamp set. Or if you're a demonstrator or already have a stamp set, I also just sell the PDF um, tutorial that has all these, these plans in it. And here's the skeleton. He's so cute. Love him. You don't have to color him either. He's fast. All right, let's see. One more thing. I can't believe this video is so long, you guys. I'm sorry. Okay, more Halloween stuff. Mr. Spooky Bones, or what's his name? Mr. Funny Bones. He's, he's fun. Um... This jar of haunts, more jars to go with your framelits. And I have to show you, there's that glimmer paper. This is page 55. The tassels, the tassels, oh my gosh. Look, they're tiny too, they're so cute. I love them, they come in a package. I have made a mess of this, and now I don't know where everything is. They come in a package of basic black and the smoky slate. And I was gonna show you where I used them. This is another class I'm doing to make a broom. This is in my spooky fun treats class. Same thing with a PDF. There's uh, the spooky fun thinlet. Um, how about this guy? Oh, well, he's been around. He's kind of falling apart. The witch's hat sucker holder. We gotta get some Halloween suckers. Cute. And how about a mini palette home decor item? I mean, you guys, this Halloween stuff is phenomenal. It's so great. Okay, that's it. I know you're probably tired of hearing me. Get your catalog, mark it up, and join me tonight for a Facebook workshop because everybody who's placing minimum orders are going to get the three make and take packets for free. Okay, let me know if you have any questions. Let me know what your favorites are. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Bye.